Okay, so. Good morning to you too, huh? It's morning. It's like 9 a.m. And it feels like the middle of the day. And why, ask you, does it feel like the middle of the day? Because last night, Chris worked overtime. And you know, he worked second shift. So it's at the end of his shift is when he does the overtime. So he worked until like 3 o'clock in the morning. And he used to do this all the time, like a 12-hour shift. Do you see the ho, ho, ho hat? It's just not stopping. Just not stopping. Anyway, so, um, so he comes home at like 3 in the morning. Well, at like 3.15, like 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got chips. I hear this plump, 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 plump coming up the stairs. And it kind of, you know, I'm like. And the light flips on over the stairs, and I'm like, because uh, I sleep with the sleep mask on because it's the best thing ever. And I'm like, I hear this, you know, flump, flump, so I, and I'm like, terrible light. And one well, here comes marching up the stairs. I got you a drink. And Evelyn. At freaking three o'clock. And I'm like, what are you doing up? And they're like, are you sleeping, Mom? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So, lo and behold, like, 340 comes around, and here comes Chris in the house, and he's like, why is everybody up? And he's like, did you wait up? And I'm like, nur, nur. <laughs> so we put the kids back in bed, and like they immediately get up and like we gated the door. So like you could open the door, but then there's a gate, you know. They get up, knock the gate down. He's like, gets up out of bed. And he's like, Wah! go to bed, go to bed. So finally we get these kids in bed. And after that, I just, you know, yeah. I didn't sleep good. Like I kept listening What do, you, what do you do with this? <laughs> Did you get bootered? Anyway, so um, so I kind of slept on and off, but it was like the whole time I kept like listening to hear if the kids were up. Are the kids up? Are the kids up? Are the kids up? So then at like six o'clock. Oh, that's so gross. She, she sprayed it. You're supposed to say it, not spray it. Oh my gosh, there is like literally a spray of corn chips coming. Stop, 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 stop. That's enough. It's never enough. So, I got up this morning, and clearly the kids had been up for a while. I asked Evelyn, I'm like, did you actually ever go to sleep? She's like, yeah, I went to sleep for a while. And then I got up. So... Lily kind of is wanting some nap time. Evelyn is also being what I call tired bad. Like, you know when kids get tired and then they kind of get like, I keep wanting to say blinky, but that's not like, they get punchy like, they're like, and they're just like super rough with each other. And she's like, ha ha ha, everything's really funny. And it's like, I know she's just like really tired, but it's so difficult to deal with. So, and also they can't cope with the fact they're having a super hard time with, where are you getting these? These are drinks. These are Tupperware. Yeah, you can drink with them. Yeah, you can drink with them. Take them to the, uh, the sink. So anyway, they're also having a super hard time coping with the fact that they can't go get Daddy up because it's time. No, it's not time yet. Don't don't do it. That he needs to sleep until like noon because he like didn't go to bed until like four a.m. and. Pull those pants up. Pull your pants up. Anyway, I'm about to go cook breakfast and try and head the kids off from... Dude, you can still, like, see where that freaking... Sorry, I got sidetracked by the... My contour's it. <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm going to go cook, and I will see you in a few minutes. I do feel better than I did yesterday. We'll get to listen to some more of that dead wake and see if I can get it finished today because, wow, it's like roller coaster listening to that stuff. that dead wake I thought I was gonna finish it yesterday but it really just got to be like so emotional and so upsetting that I had to give it a rest I had like almost two hours of it left and um and I knew I just I just needed to push through and finish it so I had like a big ball this morning and um I'm just going to tell you, like, and this may be a spoiler, but dude, it's history, so whatever. Um, so essentially, that dude, this Eric Larson that wrote it, he just flat out, like, I mean, he just could not have more plainly said that, like, the Lusitania did not have to sink, that it was essentially thrown under the bus by the British so that the Americans would join the war effort because Germany was kicking their butt and they had, like, a timetable that they would have to capitulate to Germany like they were losing like they knew dude we're gonna like <sighs> so <sighs> I got really mad then so I was like balling 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 and then I got super mad because they threw the captain under the bus like Winston Churchill like lied about it and like Eric Larson had all the documents and the proof, like, and it just, it killed me. It just really bothered me. I'm not going to cry. I'm just like frustrated. 
So I did download some new books and when we're going to talk about some fluffy confections, you know, I've been reading um, a lot of Meg Cabot. I've been kind of like catching up on the stuff that she's done since like the say 2007, 2008 was like when I was heavily reading like all the Princess Diaries. Um, I've got to the point where it's the last audiobook they have in the Mediator series and I'm skipping the three and a half and I'm going to four because I have to get three and a half in a book and it's okay. I've, I'm, I'm going to read four, which is like uh, after hours and then Haunted is the next one and I can't get Haunted. Um, then, uh, oh, I got All American Girl, which is Meg Cabot and then can't hardly wait or something which is like the second one in the American Girl series. I'm also disgusted that I cannot find the Queen of Babel in the city which is the second one but the third one I can find in audio. Queen of Babel was actually pretty good and I started or I read a Heather Wells number five or something. Why why do they have five and not one two three four? Library. So I've kind of and generally I don't do that but so anyway I got those but then I am like I am genuinely like teenager giddy when I found out this was coming out <sighs> I'm so excited like I can't even like it's hard to even talk I'm like so excited I'm like <sighs> okay so when I when I heard this was coming it was before it was published and I was like very excited to hear about it because I thought the princess diaries were all done I had read all of them I really enjoyed them I trucked all across Nevada listening to those things um there is a new Princess Diaries and it's like grown up Princess Diaries. It's not like Mia Thermopolis in high school. <sighs> She's going to get married. I think to Michael Moskowitz. <laughs> I'm so excited. <sighs> it's not Chris Pine, but oh man. I am like super duper excited and I'm, I, I'm totally going to read um, All American Girl and I think can't hardly wait because um, like they're due before but I am so stinking excited and the thing is, is I looked at it at the library and the ebook like the one you would read is totally on a wait list so I've been kind of waiting and kind of waiting and I was looking through my wish list and it was like borrow and I'm like doink 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 <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> download now <laughs> so I'm sure that I will read the Meg Cabot books because they're like five or six hours long in like two days no problem <sighs> but I am really looking forward to it because I feel like it's just it's going to hit the spot at this point. So <sighs> tough day. So I just want you to know that, um, I did con Mari up the kid's room. And when I say that I did not do the whole room, but I threw out some toys, dude, <sighs> like a thousand times better. If the kids would have put some stinking clothes on, I would have filmed it. But at a certain point, dude, they're, they're, they, they can only run naked so much and I can only pixelate so much before you really just lose the spirit of what's happening and that's just no fun for you. It's no fun for me. So I just want you to know some of my book stress is, is leaving. We had a pretty decent day and, uh, Oh man, I think I have laundry in the wash. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go do that. Hey, don't forget, 
to click like and subscribe and I will catch you tomorrow because there's good things happening.